Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you so much for uh, getting me to 2,000 subscribers. I just want to say thank you to all of you. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to tell you who the giveaway winners are as well. Um, Jessica Stiputnik, uh, if I said that even close to correct, <laughs> and Red. Uh, please give me uh, contact me. Uh, my email is below in the description. And um, we are going to ask the question. What do other people think of you? So let's see what other people think of you. Uh, we've got... Oh, and I'm doing another giveaway once I hit 5,000 subscribers. The rules are the same, just to be subscribed and comment. So we've got pile one. Oh, excuse me. Pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Um hopefully that helped you pick and we're gonna move on to pile number one but i'm just seriously i'm very grateful to all of you thank you so much all right pile number one with the neptune charms so what do other people see in you what do other people how do other people see you how do other people see you got death the lovers the two of swords and the nine of pentacles i'm sorry it's not the nine of pentacles so maybe they might see you in a nine of pentacles energy too no it's the nine of wands that is out here so with the again nine of wands though some of you might be really independent yeah some people see you as really independent other people see you as like like they see you as courageous they see you as somebody you know that's working your hardest even if you're not always dealing with ideal circumstances with the death card yeah i think people see you as somebody who's you know who since this is definitely i kind of think of this as like a king of water so it, it's like you are moving on <laughs> from things it's like you've had an ending and you're moving on to something better with the law uh, with the lovers i think that people are well i mean lovers is about a decision so you may have a decision to be made but i i think that you people feel a lot of connection to you yeah people feel a lot of connection to you with the two of but you know you're somebody who people see has had to be really strong yeah and had to defend yourself and you may be a little bit overwhelmed uh, you know not enough to stop like people see that you're strong but at this point the people see, uh, may see that you're so yeah that you're just tired of dealing with the same thing <laughs> and of course for clarity on the two of swords i get the two of swords I, I guess people just see you as a little bit conflicted. Maybe you are, even though people feel a strong attachment to you, like, you know, you you might be a little guarded with your heart, especially. Um, that you, you are sometimes a little indecisive when moving forward, or since the two of swords came out twice, you might be very indecisive. Yeah, some of you are very indecisive but you are still like you're still very resolute so it's it's almost like once you've made a decision you're going to like make that you know you're going to do whatever you need to do but i think that you might be a little bit scared yeah you might be a little scared of making decisions sometimes maybe because I feel like the consequences, yeah, I feel like you've had consequences that were not really proportional. Yeah, that weren't really proportional. Um, like, 
you were... It's almost like even small slip-ups sometimes led to, like, big, you know, big issues. So it makes you a little bit of... A little bit afraid. Yeah, a little bit afraid of... Of making the decision. Or at least that's how people see you. It's like you're... You're... Just concerned. You're concerned because... In the past, you know, you've tried to do the right thing. And, and yeah, I feel like you've tried to do the right thing. And you haven't always had good results. You are, however, ending tough cycles. So that's a good thing. <laughs> How do people see you? Judgment. Yeah, they see you with, of course, the death card followed by judgment like it's it's the end of it's the end of something and a rebirth yeah so you're people see you as having a rebirth having a new beginning yeah and they see that you may have much clearer boundaries than you have in the past like very precise about what you will and will not put up with which is good I mean it's good to have standards and I think that yeah so people also see you somebody who's starting a new path like you you've dealt with something you're starting a new path yeah and you're just with a six of swords coming up you're you are just willing to move away from whatever drama yeah you are absolutely saying no to any if any you're you're just no more bullshit <laughs> you are you're not going to to put up with that anymore yeah you're you're just you're you're done with anybody who's dishonest yeah you're really done with it or that's definitely how people see you just done with anybody who's dishonest moving forward making really clear boundaries setting up a whole new life going on a whole new journey for something that's a lot more stable so like people see you as somebody that is in transition that has dealt with tough things but they see you as very strong. Yeah, very strong. Um, also, with the death card, there could be some Scorpio. Yeah, there could be some Scorpio. Of course, there's Gemini with the lovers. Uh, and, you know, obviously there's a lot of swords card. But, but, yeah, people see you just... You're like, you've cut off... You're cutting off everything that is keeping you from moving forward. So you're just moving forward. People see you as... As not easy to hold back. You know, like people... People see that maybe that's... Yeah, that maybe you've dealt with that. But it's like, it's like you're cutting the dead weight. Again, we said Nine of Pentacles. And of course, Nine of Pentacles came out. So you, people see you as somebody with clear boundaries, who is strong within themselves, who, you know, is capable of working well with other people. Let me pull that forward. Excuse me. Yeah, so you get to, you work together well with other people, but you are okay with being alone. You're moving forward. Like, you have a lot of momentum. Yeah, you have a lot of momentum. I think that um, you've dealt with difficult things and you are just not holding, yeah, you're not holding on to them anymore and you're not supposed to. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's like you're moving on to your destiny. Like, people see that you're turning the Wheel of Fortune in your favor. Yeah. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune in your favor. Moving forward. Like, people just feel like you're very strong. Like, that you... Yeah. People feel you're inspiring because you overcome. 
Let's see if there's anything else that I need to pull for you. And yeah, let's get you some... I'm going to get you some charms, and then we're going to get one oracle card, and then... But yeah, you're somebody... I think that... I mean, some of you might be water signs, yeah. But I think that you have been dealing with being very rational, be, uh, setting boundaries, not letting your emotional intelligence work for you instead of against you. Yeah, so... I think maybe you did have to have some hard lessons with people to establish who you can and you can't do something do something for. Yeah. So yeah, you people see that you do have some fear especially regarding making certain decisions. Um but they see you as like ultimately you're like, I'm, there's no being held back. There's, you know, you're taking luck into your own hands and you are getting luck from the universe. Yeah, you definitely are. People see that it's kind of coming through, that it's manifesting for you because you're, you're both, you know, very single mindedly on, you know, forward on independence, on be, uh, uh, on, you know, finding the happiness that you can have and you're, you're manifesting a lot of happiness. But again, you're really following your heart. You're following your heart. You're following your feelings. You're, you're, you're even figuring out when you need to choose when you need, when you need to cut somebody off from that heart space. And I feel like you've had to, that it's not that you're uncaring. Yeah, you're not uncaring, but you have had to cut a few people off from your heart space um, because the dynamic was just unhealthy. It just cannot. Uh, it, it, so you, you really have learned to trust your inner heart. And you you learned this. People feel like you learned this because of the heartbreak that you've dealt with before, but that you have come out being really, truly authentic to who you are. Um, I know that it doesn't read, but there's little sparkles below the surface on this stone. And, you know, people realize that there is more below the surface than... For you that you have this hidden depth that you have you know this this deeper well yeah so you do people people do see and respect your passion and I think you also have passion for creative yeah for something creative as well I'm feeling that but yeah, you're, you've moved into your power. People see you as somebody who's moved into their power, that is somebody that works well together with people. Um, I feel like you either work well together or it hits a point where, you know, enough's enough and then you're, you're out. Ooh, okay. So I've got both crowns. So... You, somebody may feel like that they are your, you know, your equal partner, that they're the right person for you. Like they see your amazingness that they feel like, yeah, like there's somebody that really feels like, uh, that between you that it's meant to be with them. Like they do want to be the king and the queen, the queen and the queen, the king and the king, however it goes. Yeah, um, yeah, you are still a nurturing person. Um, I think that you are have become. Uh, so you still give out nurturing. You have had to cut very specific people off, but but you're also coming to a place where you're doing more self nurturing. Yeah, you're doing more self nurturing than you have in the past. That. Um, 
people want a relationship with you to last the test of time. Yeah, but again, you've had, you know, endings and rebirths. You're, you're like, I'm back and I'm better than ever. You know, things were tough, but I never, I never really fell down, you know, like, or if I fell down, it was only for a second. You know, you're like, I get right back up again. Yeah, people really respect that about you. So I think, you know, despite all this, you know, power, and you do have a lot of power, you do, like, people, people also think you're really cute. Like, you have this aspect that, you know, you also have a very kind of adorable part about you. People acknowledge that. People definitely want to celebrate with you. Yeah, with, uh, with the martini glass, I feel like people want to be a friend. Yeah. Um, people think that a, a connection with you is beautiful. People also see you as somebody who is very responsible. Yeah, very responsible. You take care of what you need to do. That you've you're that you've really taken agency in your life that you people see you as the key to your success and i'd say from this they're probably right yeah i've got the daughter charm uh iha i know i'm probably saying it wrong file <laughs> um i i'm getting that you're uh i mean you could have a daughter some of you like you've you spent time dealing with your inner child like there's there's a little bit of some of you do have a daughter um but i'd say more of you like you've spent like time processing what your inner child needed you know like finding out what your inner child needed uh, needed and fulfilling it for yourself you know you've Yeah. So people also think that you're stylish. People feel very attached to you. And that there's... They see a lot of intelligence in you. So you are... Just, uh, you are somebody that, you know, people just want to work with. You are... Yeah. People... People believe that every good thing that comes to you is because of what the, what you've done to make that happen. And you've, you know, you've struggled, but, and, you know, there's definitely somebody who has feelings for you, like, in a serious way, thinks that you're meant to be. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you're, you're doing your death rebirth. You're cut, you've, you've set boundaries. You've cut off people who because you're moving on to calmer waters. And again, that came out twice. But right now, you're just being strong within yourself, and that's what people see. People see that you're being strong within yourself. You're definitely moving on from anybody who is cruel. But, you know, it's... it's and it's probably because you're a little tired and exhausted, <laughs> but it is a little tougher for you to make a decision right now. Yeah, it's a little tougher for you to make a decision. That being said, let's get you one oracle card and we'll let you go. How do people see a pile number one? Yeah. Like I was saying, they see you moving forward. They see so much momentum, <laughs> momentum with you. Um, so I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Um, if you look below, uh, the, the 2,000 subscribers giveaway people are at the beginning of the video. And it's going to be also below in the description in the comments. So check. Make sure it's you. Or not you. Uh, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I am going to do another giveaway as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment. And I will give away two readings then. All right, now let's move on to my beautiful and talented pile number two. Hello, pile number two. 
You've got the sons. How do people see you, pile number two? The hermit. So introspective. Like people see you with the six of of the six of pentacles and the hermit. They see you as introspective. They see you as generous. With the King of Cups, they see you as a caring person, but that you might not always, yeah, you may not always express it in words. Yeah, that you, you also have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of ideas. You're very introspective. You are very generous. So people do see you in a kind way. Like they see you as a kind person they see you as a dreamer yeah somebody who who has dreams as we all do but somebody who really pays attention to them got the star so you definitely stand out um and there's definitely there's somebody who really 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 just thinks that you're everything to them you know i don't know if they're in your life or not but like they see you as an equal partner they see you as you know being the person who gives a lot of happiness um i think that this might be somebody you've rejected yeah this might be somebody that you've already rejected i dropped a card so i'm gonna grab it yeah i think that this person like does want to take action towards you but like there there is somebody where where they do feel whether you rejected them or not they feel rejected yeah they feel rejected but they see you as you know hope and healing yeah that you are one of a kind maybe maybe a lot of people get very emotionally invested in you and i feel like that might be the case also um i think because you are a very caring person so i think that that caring can sometimes people can get very attached yeah very attached but you are still somebody who's, you know, yeah, you're, you're working on moving forward on whatever it is that you want, but probably on an intellectual pursuit. You might be, I th I'm getting quick witted. Yeah. I'm getting that you are, you know, both emotionally adept and quick witted. But the hermit twice though. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is it twice? Maybe it was in this. I think I might be confusing. No, you were definitely there. There we go. Hermit twice. <laughs> I take this down really quickly. But of course, the, uh, the sun, with the sun, that symbolism is, of course, people feel a lot of hope happiness joy around you again just ultimate happiness around you like you're somebody that your feelings are infectious and with the hermit and the hermit you're somebody who is very introspective yeah you spend a lot of time inside you spend a lot of time in review of life which is in, an important thing to do Yeah. So people see you as really evolved, like very nurturing, very kind, very abundant. It's like if uh, if you if there is something that somebody wants, you are already that person. Like people see you in a very very advanced light. Yeah. 
with the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like people, you, th there is definitely somebody in specific who just thinks that you're the sun, the moon, you know, you're a wish come true. They want to have something that's, uh, you know, really stable. They want something that would be forever with you. Plus, you got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You know, ultimate stability, ultimate happiness. So you, and the Two of Cups with the Empress. Like, and the Nun, you know, like... I feel like there is somebody very specific that maybe sees that, you know, there's, there's somebody who, who just feels like you, you don't really see them or choose them, but like they see you and they, you know, you're their dream come true. So there's, there's somebody that is very in love with you. more so let's get you some charms but also like you are somebody that has done a lot to make your own uh, that you've made your own self happy <laughs> you 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 are somebody who makes choices to be loving and kind you're somebody that you know takes the time does the inter introspection you're you're you have like made a lot of things. It's it's not that j just one person is idealizing you. Uh, it is because you have gone so far to make yourself an amazing person. Like you've put in the work to make that happen. Um, you still may have some, yeah, you still may have some fears, some things that are residual. And I think that this per that there is very much a specific person who has fears regarding you. Yeah. Because they just feel, yeah, they feel like dream come true and it's not going to happen for me. So they're, so there's somebody who really feels like you're, have heartbroken, that, that you've caused them to be heartbroken, which Ultimately, you can't control if this is somebody that you have feelings for or if you don't. Although, if you're not sure of this person's feelings, they are very intense. Yeah, very, very intense. I've got the daughter charm. Fili, hija. Um, some of you have a child. Some of you have a younger female that like is important to you that you see as kind of in a, in a maternal or paternal way. Um, so like, I think that if you are providing care for somebody, somebody, uh, you know, like people, people see then respect that also the Empress card can be a mother card. It's not necessarily, but you know, she, uh, but if you are a mother, people see you as a very good mother. Yeah. With the peacock charm, yeah. With uh, especially with the empress, you know, and the peacock charm, people find you very attractive. People find you very attractive. Um and I get this sometimes Sometimes people trip over their, like, trip over their words when they speak to you. Yeah. This, you know, especially this person who is very into you, sometimes they panic. Sometimes they panic when they have a chance to talk to you. So, with the, with the little frog, little tree frog, with the little suction cup hands, yeah. I, I feel like people want to be in your energy, like people want to, to have contact with you. Um, you're somebody that has really spent a lot of time building yourself up to be the best version of yourself. Yeah. 
and people see that you know you have had difficulty but it's like uh, the pearl is is there's a there's an irritant in the shell and then eventually over time it becomes something that's beautiful and valuable it's like whatever you had to deal with you polished it up yeah you whatever you had to do whatever you had you polished it up to the best of your ability you made something you you definitely made something good out of any bad situation yeah you did with the tyrannosaurus rex you know you're very people recognize your strength I mean, it may be a, a little bit of a soft strength. Um, it's not like you're really going and intimidating anybody, but just like you have this profound inner strength. Yeah. Yeah. And you have, and I feel like people with believe, I think that knowing you helps people believe in their own path. People, especially, I believe you already oh, I had the star up here as well. Like people, and you are somebody that people see as very intelligent as well. Get one more Oracle card for you. Yeah. Again, with that, you have this authenticity about yourself. You are somebody that is also, I feel like, I, I don't always pick up the numbers, but I feel like 13 was important for some reason. 13, I mean, that could add up to a four for some of you. For some of you, it's supposed to. But I feel like, I don't know if some of you guys, like, are against the grade and just feel like 13's your lucky number. I feel like. But I feel like that that, and then maybe that was part of you, you know, you might have a little bit of rebel in you. Yeah, a little bit. Not, it's not like you're, I, I feel like it's not just rebelling, but like it's, it's almost like constantly questioning. Yeah, I feel like you spent a lot of time with the hermit twice. With the hermit twice, you're, you're somebody who's constantly questions. But, like, people see you as, as somebody who's just incredibly stable. People, you know, know that you're really considering what is being said, the answer, like, and you give people hope. You, people feel very connected to you. People feel that you're very generous. That you are a very caring person but you may be, you know, a little bit selective about who you give your time and energy to. Possibly even overlooking opportunities. And you... There, uh, and s I feel like particularly this person who feels like they're the one for you. Like, they, they feel like that you're in some kind of willful denial or something that, you know. But that being said, you know, two have to be along for the ride. So thank you so much. Um, the, the winners for the giveaway are down below and at the very, very beginning of the video. Uh, I'm also doing another giveaway as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment and you're in the running. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, booking readings with me. It all matters, and I'm very grateful. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Hello, pile number three, my, my wonderful veggie people. So, how do people see you, pile number three? Six of Pentacles. So, they see you as generous and kind. Seven of Pentacles. They also see you as somebody 
who's willing to um, put the effort in now for a payoff later. Like you, you will plant the seeds, you will, you are willing to delay gratification. Yeah. Two of wands. Of course, I just dropped it. And the, and the king of cups. So this, per, uh, so people see you as kind and generous. Somebody who will put an investment in and, uh, in and, you know, will wait for the payoff. Um, with the two of wands, like the two of wands is like making a decision to move forward. And I feel like people feel that you've made a decision to move forward from like, from negative energy. That ultimately you are somebody that is very kind, although you might not be as demonstrative. Like with the five of pentacles, like I feel like, There are some, yeah, that even if you're having a hard time at the moment, you're, you do whatever you can for whoever you can, and you build up something for the future. You're, you're somebody, you're very growth oriented, and I guess that's why you got the veggies, because you, yeah, you're somebody who, who's leaning into their growth. People see that you are taking the time and energy to grow. That you're trying to grow and nurture other things. I think that people see that sometimes you you have like people feel like sometimes you you've gotten really bogged down just because you've been taking care of other people's burdens. However, I think that they um, see you as strengthening your boundaries. Yeah, th that you're really being able to see certain situations, especially negative situations, clearly. Do they see you in this light? Because uh, I'm not seeing that. I, I feel like that people have recognized that you've gone through, you know, Difficulties with people being dishonest. Difficulties with, yeah, people maybe even stealing. People, you know, taking advantage. That you are this caring person and you still are this generous person, but you're really getting to the point where you can clearly see when to, to cut things off. Yeah. And because of that, you're moving into a greater level of success because you're seeing... Not just what, you know, because I feel like you're naturally abundant, but you've been trying to bring along some people. Yeah, you've been trying to bring along some people and not all of those people had good intentions towards you. I feel like you've gotten clarity on that, that you're willing to drop the burdens regarding that. Yeah. So in some ways, some people in your life feel like you've cleaned house. Yeah. Knight of Wands. Oops. Can't hold any of my cards. So that was the, th the three of wands fell. And I feel like I should take that. Sorry, apparently I dropped a whole bunch of cards I wasn't even aware of. Um, but um, you do seem to, you're making progress. It's like you'll put in for something in the future. Like you do need to make a decision to move forward. But like, I feel like you've already made a decision to move forward to... 
there's a lot of investing in the future. Yeah, you're 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 very willing to invest in the future. I'm not really getting waiting so much as you understand that certain things like when you put this energy in, which I feel like you are somebody who's putting forward a lot of creativity, <laughs> creativity and energy that um, that some, uh, that you accept that some of these things are going to take a little while to pay off. But I feel like at the same time, you've you've been really discerning about what what you need to cut off because it's not going to pay off and what you need to cut uh, what what is worth your time, even if it's going to take some time. So you're just very disciplined. You're working on growth. You know, you're like, I will start over again. Yeah. And you're going to have a great deal of stability. If, if, is this, is there, so with the Hierophant, you like, you might be s traditional in some way. You may be bringing in a commitment in some way. Like, I feel like, do you have a commitment with somebody? I, I feel like you're very, yeah, you're very committed that people see you as somebody that's, that they would have to make a commitment with that you are somebody that it would be you know a victory because you do have even though you you've you've gotten some clear boundaries like people see like success healing happiness <laughs> like people people have a lot of hope with you people think that you're very cor yeah very charismatic People definitely get that impression of you. Like, it's like you're very charismatic, that you have all these good qualities and you've just become more discerning. Yeah. So people feel very, very connected to you. You put people at ease. You, uh, people see that you've definitely dealt with some heartbreak, but it's like you're, you are dealing with it in a really healthy way. You're like, you're taking things in a practical way. I mean, I feel like you are you taking the time, you're doing whatever thing you need to do to grieve, but then you're setting up new or stronger boundaries so that this won't happen again. Like you're, you're definitely doing what you can to do this as healthy as possible. I feel that you have attracted soul family into your life. That, yeah, that you have really, it, it's partially because you've done so much work on yourself that you're, you're, you're bringing in the people that are right for you like you're bringing in the people that are going to be there yeah because you you do have this really nurturing aspect to you and people do want us <laughs> want to spend the long term with you I've got grandmother so a grandmother could be important if for some of you it's possible that you are a grandmother but I'm getting that for most of you, it's that you have an, this might be a spirit guide. Yeah. I get that you're, you, you are like following like the advice of spirit, like that there is like an older female ass ancestor that is, is part of your spiritual path that is helping you along. Yeah, I've got that you do have this fierce loyalty. And that's one of the reasons why sometimes it was very hard to let go. But, yeah. But I feel like you're become very discerning about the, the connections that are healthy and the connections that aren't. Yeah, and, and people see you as somebody that's that's going to bring about the, the healthy ones. Like I, I, you definitely have some, like something noticeably spiritual about you. Yeah. I think that that's the case as well. Is this the one? 
feel like I need to get another one. Should I take that? I feel like I'm not taking that one. Yeah. You've spent a lot of time striking a balance in your life. People can see the work that you've done to create this balance. And I think that you are definitely only, only dealing with situations where there is equal give and take. Because, you know, you've, you're, you, you've come into balance between both the emotional and as the King of Swords is in here somewhere, both the emotional and the, and the intellectual side. Like you are very balanced between these two points. I feel like I'm going to put it up while I put the two away, but like you have balanced your mind and your heart that you've done a really wonderful job at that, that you're investing in the future. You're, and people just think you're amazing, really. Um, but yeah, I think that people finally realize, even if that, that this is just not something you're going to accept in your life anymore. Yeah. You, you have dealt with, you know, lack, you have dealt with, you know, shady, shady behavior. And you're like, I'm, and you're willing to drop the burden. Yeah. You're, you're not doing it. You're like, I'm only, I'm a committed person, but that doesn't mean I need to be committed to the people who aren't committed to me. So how, thank you. My healthy and balanced pile number three. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Um, the sweepstakes results are at the very beginning. So if you want to know whether you won a free reading, go check that out. It's also going to be below in the description. So I wanted to say thank you um, for everybody who's helped me get uh, this far to 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to do another giveaway once I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment. Uh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you. And let's move on to pile number four. Hello, my gorgeous pile number fours. You had the, the sneakers, the Converse sneakers. Yes. So my beautiful and talented pile number four, how do others see you? How do others see you? I've got judgment. The Ace of Cups. Well, there's a lot of intensity <laughs> in your reading. With judgment, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So, so with judgment, do people feel... Because judgment is kind of like a, it, yeah, judgment is a rebirth. It's like you, you've had to end something and this is your new beginning that you do, that it does require evaluation. So I feel like you do, you have evaluated, you have made different and stronger decisions with your life. Um, with the Ace of Cups. I feel like people feel uh, people are seeing you. Maybe even in the past that they didn't, but they are seeing you for uh, for who you are. They're they see you as somebody who is very yeah, just very kind. With with the seven of swords, we get the seven of swords. The five of wands. So are you sneaky? Do people see you as sneaky? I feel like some people feel like you had to leave a rough situation. 
And I feel like you had to leave a rough situation. There was a lot of chaos and it was almost in your best interest to not really give an out. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it was almost like for your safety not to give a lot of notice. It wasn't that you were just being thoughtless. It was because you, you were having to protect yourself. But you are moving on to calmer waters. I feel like that there was, that you did have a time of chaos. That's part of what, what you're having this rebirth regarding. How do people see you? By the way, thank you so much for everybody who's helped me get to 2,000 subscribers. Um, I'm really grateful. The winners are at the front of the video. If, if you had subscribed and commented. So I've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I see that people understand that you have a need for stability, that if, if they want to have you in their life, they need to offer you stability. Um, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like you're evaluating your options right now. People feel like you're evaluating your options. And the Knight of Wands and the Hierophant. I mean, people definitely feel like you're passionate, that you... Like there's a, a lot, it's like you're taking action towards things that you're passionate about. You're taking action towards things that will give you stability. I feel like stability has come to be something that's very important to you. Yeah. That you are somebody who's very committed and that is quite frankly somebody that people would want to have a commitment with because you bring a lot of happiness. Yeah, you bring a lot of happiness in people's life. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So like you bring a lot of positive emotions for people in their life. And you are doing, a, a, yeah, you're, you're doing a little bit of rebuilding. Because I feel like you had something unhealthy in your life before. Was it a person? I mean, it, So I feel like, were you holding on to something unhealthy? I feel like when I say that, I, I feel like at least some of you like really had to get out of a situation for your safety. Yeah. And, and that you may have had to like, I, I feel like it was something that was very restricting. Yeah. Very restricting. I feel like somebody was really trying to impose a really unreasonable amount of control on you. I mean, truthfully, we don't, I mean, it's, it's foolish to consider putting control on anybody. It's, it's not something that'll work, but some people get pretty obsessed with the idea that they can control other people. I feel like you definitely figured out how to have a rebirth from that, how to get out. Yeah. Again, six of swords. You're like, whatever this was, it's a never again kind of situation. Yeah, definitely never again. Because you've really evaluated the situation and, and quite frankly, you did what you needed to do to survive. Yeah, I feel like some of you, some of you, it might have been less physical safety, but some of you, it was really genuinely physical safety. You needed to get out to be safe. So people see you as somebody who is moving on, who is doing what they need to be safe. Then maybe you're not as, emo yeah, maybe you're not as open anymore to, to taking, because I, I think that on some level you're, you do not want to, to have somebody who tries to take away your options and power. By the way, it's 555 five, five on the clock. So yeah, I'm getting 555 five, five is definitely significant. 555 five, five is about change. 
and you are all about change too. Like I'm moving on to calmer waters. I'm letting, you know, like it, it, it might be important for you. People feel like you might not take good options now because the last option was so bad that you really did need to walk away. But you are, but you bring a lot of happiness to people. You really do that you're on like a new quest. You're on a new beginning that you're seeking knowledge. Yeah, that you're seeking knowledge. You, I think that you're aware that there's a lot of things that you don't know. Which is wisdom, you know, <laughs> often, you know, off, so often we may know enough to think that we know something, but don't know enough to realize that we don't, you know, the, uh, yeah, you've definitely come out of heartbreak, but people see you as <laughs> forward momentum. See, people see you as closing the page on this kind of negativity in your life. And I feel like. It wasn't specifically, I mean, I feel like for most of you, because sometimes it can be events, but I feel like for, for a lot of you, this was a specific person or maybe a job or something like that, but like a specific person who was trying to just, even though your, your, your free will is something that's you know a part of you like but they were taking you know trying to take away more and more options like really really put on so much pressure that you know that trying to bend you to your will their will it's like they're i feel like you definitely dealt with somebody who is you know not worth anybody's time really but you you have moved on you know you're you're still in the process but you're you are resolute you're you're not going back there's an end to this you've seen what it is you're you know you're just having your rebirth you also had the the death charm in there that you know nothing like that yeah nothing like that is going to be part of your life again so with that even though you've had these really rough experiences, you have a lot of love in your heart still. Yeah, you do. And you just, you bring so much joy to people. Like you have this gorgeous energy about you. I feel like for a long time, people, it was almost like somebody was trying to keep you around and like snuff out your light at the same time like people they weren't able to do it you were stronger than that um but you you may have dealt with it for too long just like just but yeah people see you as special yes as special that you are somebody who is very developed you're somebody who has sovereignty in their life that you, even if you had to like leave in the night with nothing but the clothes on your back, you did what you needed to do to move on to something better, something safer. Yeah, and, and that people see you as somebody who's very smart with the mod, with the mother charm, madre mare, you know, the, I mean, some of you could have had this issue with your mother. Like, maybe your mother was very harsh. Maybe you held on for a long time. Some of you, you are a mother. Yeah. Um, some of you, you may have been in an abusive situation. I, I feel like a lot of you were in abusive situations, whether it's physical, emotional. Some of you, it was just emotional. Um, some of you, it was, you know, other types of abuse as well. Um, some of you have a child and that you needed to figure out, you know, a way to, to get out of this, you know, for you, I feel like for you and your child, 
But yeah, people see that you have a lot of depth. I'll, you have more going on below the surface than, than above. You're like an iceberg of a personality. <laughs> uh, but, but like people feel the good energy from you. There, there is, even though I, I feel like sometimes this helps you and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it helps you because you, you do attract a lot of energy and attention and people who want to feel this, this good energy that you give, but you know, you are definitely at risk of people who just, you know, are on a never ending loop of taking. And I feel like that's part of what, yeah, that, that, that you're not in that cycle anymore. And you have, you were very strongly never going back to that. So if you have any fear, then, you know, at least people don't, uh, don't see you coming back. People see you as doing whatever you need to, to walk away from what's unfulfilling, to move on, to take, you know, people like, I think that people respect your, your thoughts. Yeah. People respect your thoughts. People also, I think that there is, you do have a little bit of a fashion thing going on. <laughs> so people, People see you very much as a survivor. Like people see you as somebody that is, you know, taking whatever steps you need to do to get a, uh, to go ahead. It's not to necessarily get ahead, but just to stay ahead of what is you're like. It's to, it's just no more toxic. You're just like you. You've seen it. You're you're just not going to deal with the constant you're you're just moving on and you're moving on and you're moving on um that despite all of this that you have uh, retained your caring nature you have retained you know you just may not be quite as open to the offers of others as you were in the past uh and understandably so but you are moving forward moving moving forward, moving away from things that suck, just bring, yeah, causing so much happiness, finding something that's, you know, that is stable because you are very clear. This is the second to the last of the major arcanas with the judgment card. You, you've, You've gone through almost every single step of the way. You've, you've gone through every little thing you needed to do to, to get where you needed to go. You just needed, you, it's that final review before you can just end something forever. End something that is unpleasant forever. Like really never have it be a cycle in your life again. So you have over, uh, again, never having it be an issue in your life again because you have gone through a transformation. So people see you as going through a transformation. People see you as, you know, this person who is so loving and kind that causes so much happiness for other people, but they see you taking that transformation. The very much the, you know, it won't happen again that you, that you've, learned whatever you needed to learn to make sure that at least in this incarnation, it's never going to be a thing for you. And I think that it is going to, yeah. Okay. So I'm also getting that it's not just, you might've had some, you might've had some, I don't want to uh, uh, had something like happen in more than one life that you might've had this issue in the past, but I, I, but it's like you've closed out that cycle for your soul that you're, that going forward, this, this isn't what your soul needs to deal with anymore. So very proud of you. That's a lot to deal with. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you do want to know who won the sweepstakes, it's at the beginning of the video. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm also going to put it below in the description. Uh, thank you so much for helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm doing it. Uh, I'm doing another sweepstakes. Uh, sweepstakes again when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment, and you're in the running. Uh, and just thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, and commenting. Sorry, I missed a few days. I, I just had something happen. So I thank you. I really appreciate it.